everyone, welcome to Ko'osh. Today we're going to have a little different type of vlog. As many of you know, I'm a huge fan of Walt Disney World. I've been going to the Magic Kingdom since six days after it opened. The only place we went on vacation as kids. I love Disney World and I love being in the parks. I love the music. I love everything about it. And what's even more wonderful is Chewy is starting to love them just as much as me. So to be able to go on trips with someone now who just loves being there as much as I do is truly, truly wonderful. We were fortunate enough to last year be able to go on four trips to Disney World, one of them going from the parks to our very first ever cruise and it was on the Disney Fantasy and we even did concierge level. It was a really amazing experience. I've had quite a few requests to share that here on our channel, but unfortunately it's before we had a vlog camera and all I have are photographs. So the only thing I could come up with is to put together all the photos and then I'm going to record audio over it and talk about the trip as if we're, we're there. Hopefully it works. So come along. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to love sharing this trip. It was really, really an amazing trip. So let's go. Ka'osh. It's the best day in the world. And why? Because I'm going to Disney World. And I'm beyond excited. The only sad thing about it is Chewie doesn't join me until Friday. So I'm going alone for a few days, which is nice. I'll be able to catch up with some of my local Disney Orlando friends, but I'll still miss them. We get on our flight, we head down to MCO, and before I know it, I am on Disney Magical Express. And I have to, to be honest, I cry a little when I get on Disney Magical Express. They're really happy tears, but I do, I just get so overwhelmed with emotion and I always have to face, you know, away from people so that no one can see what's happening, especially when I'm by myself. And then it appears. It appears on the horizon. And as it gets closer and closer, I, I squeal a little, to be honest. I do, I squeal. And the purple and red signs show up and all is well with the world. The first stop we make is at Wilderness Lodge. And then we move on to the contemporary, which is looking quite lovely. And then the excitement starts to build. And before I know it, we are home at the Grand Floridian. This is our favorite resort. We love sitting in the lobby. It's one of our favorite things to do in the late afternoon if we're passing through on our way to dinner, sit and listen to the orchestra. It's fabulous. And yes, the room is ready, so I'm whisked upstairs to my favorite room. We like this room because there's no connecting door and there's no one above us, so it's nice and quiet. My favorite thing in the room are the curtains. Look at the hidden Mickeys in this curtain. I love this. It's one of my favorite things. So before I know it, I'm all unpacked and I head to my favorite place, the Magic Kingdom have to stop and take a shot with the castle and unfortunately the castle's best friend the crane is hanging out and playing with him today but that's okay so after saying hello to the castle we head over towards liberty square and i stop and say hello to the little doll that i have a love-hate relationship with i love this doll but i also think she's kind of creepy because She's always watching. My first meal of every trip I try to have at Columbia Harbor House. I love this place. It's probably my favorite restaurant on property. It was always where we went in the 70s. I love the fried shrimp. You know, come on, as I've said before, fried food, what's not to love, right? So I get my standard fried shrimp and I bring it outside and sit and enjoy the view of the Haunted Mansion and the boat and listening to the boat whistle. I am so happy I am home. After lunch, I stroll through the hub and head over to Tomorrowland for a quick loop 
on the people mover, which probably turned into two or three or maybe four loops. I love the people mover. And in typical Florida fashion, there's an afternoon rain shower. So I decide to head back to the room. But first I stop right outside the Magic Kingdom entrance over towards guest relations and say hello to the family brick. I always kiss my fingertips and then bend down and touch my fingertips to the brick and say hello. By the time I get back to the Grand Floridian, the rain has stopped and the sun has come out. So I decide I have enough time to go down and take a dip in the pool, hang out, relax. It feels so refreshing because it's, it's September, it's still pretty warm. At my shower, I realize they now have back in the room the foot cream that I absolutely love. When we were at the Grand Floridian back in February of this year, 2016, it was missing and I asked housekeeping and she said, well, we don't have it anymore. So I get dressed, I'm all fancy, and I head down to the lobby to meet my friend for our dinner reservation at Victoria and Albert's. I'm a little early, so I go over and let a manager at the front desk know how thrilled I am that the cream is back and how I had missed it. And she said, thanks for letting her know. They really do take into consideration um, the things that guests say. So my friend shows up and we have an amazing dinner at Victoria and Albert's. The food was wonderful, the company was even more wonderful, and we just chatted and chatted and chatted and caught up. And I, I think we threw them a little bit because we weren't the traditional couple or maybe two couples or whatever. And they kept asking us, you know, are you here celebrating anything? And we said, no, nope, we're just two girls looking to eat good food. So it was a lovely evening, and before I knew it, somehow three hours had passed in the blink of an eye and my girlfriend and I said goodbye and I got back up to the room and the most wonderful card was waiting for me along with all these extra little bottles of foot cream and I'm like that is really grand service at the Grand Floridian and one of the reasons why we love staying here so much at the end of a very long day of traveling wonderful food I crawl into bed the happiest girl alive.